shorty hit me up like yeah, I'm trying to smoke. Had to cop a quarter from my nigga Trove. Girl, it's going down in the slipper, bro. Tell your nigga now, you ain't coming home. Cause I'm about to do. What up, YouTube? Today, try something a little different. It ain't different. It's, it's still a tutorial and shit like that, you know? But well, before I even start, I want to thank all my subscribers. You know, I fucks with y'all because y'all fucks with me. And y'all notice I got a comb today. So today what I want to talk about is letting your waves breathe. Yes, sometimes you got to let your waves breathe, my nigga. Talking about no products, nothing. Just straight combing, straight brushing, tie that bitch down. Now, personally, if you're about to go outside and you know you're trying to look fly, you're trying to get bitches to be like, oh, your waves is popping, don't do this. You don't want to do that because it's going to be a dry night for you, my nigga. So you don't want to do that. But basically, every, I want to say every once in a while, I don't have a set schedule for doing this shit, but every once in a while, I wash my hair out. You know, but I'll wash it to the point where I can get all the grease or whatever it is I have in my hair. Well, I don't use grease, but all the, um, the olive oil, the almond oil, all that, I get all that out of my hair. And I just... I just comb. Then I brush, but I, I usually just comb. You know, just comb, comb, comb. And I tie my do-rag on right after that. So right now you see me combing. My waist kind of popping in there. Ooh. Oh, shit. You find out. Let me find out, nigga. But yeah, you see, my shit ain't shining like it usually shine. It's real dull. But it's real. I think it's important to just let your hair breathe, man. Like you don't need you don't need products all the time. Now, just in case you wanna let your hair breathe, I ain't saying you have to. You know, this ain't mandatory. It's just some shit I do. You feel me? So just in case you want to do it, this is how I go about it. So right now my hair is, I don't got no product, I don't got nothing in there, it's, it's clean. But this is, let's say you have product in there, you want to, you want an easier way to get it out, but you still want your hair to like, still be spinning, you feel me? Without no frizz and nothing like that. What you got to do, you're going to need a comb, you need a rag. So what you're going to do, you're going to wet your, you're going to comb your hair first. Cause you want it, you don't really want it laid down or nothing like that. So you're going to try to comb it out and try to get your, you know, your waves is curls or whatever. So you want the curls to kind of stick up slightly. So you're going to comb it up. Comb that bitch up. Now, stay dropping shit. Hold on. All right, I'm back. So now, <clears throat> this rag right here, you want it to be in hot water. You feel me? So I ain't gonna put it in water, but you want the water to be hot. Then, don't burn yourself, neither. Then you're gonna wring it out, or whatever, like that. And you're gonna wipe down. Wipe down, boom. Then you're gonna grab your comb again. You gonna comb it. And comb it. Now usually, since my hair kind of clean, you ain't seen nothing. But usually, as you getting the product out, you see a little bit. It should have like little. I guess you should be able to do this and see little shit on the comb. That means I still didn't get all the product out of my hair. But that's what you gonna see. So you wanna do that. And actually have a separate rag to wipe the product off your head. So keep doing that. 
Alright, so you're gonna repeat that step for until you feel comfortable with your head and how clean it is. Now the benefit of doing that as far as like wetting the rag and making sure the water is warm and all that, your hair should be real soft. Your hair should be really, really soft at this point. And then it's not matted down, it should be sticking up, just like mine's is sticking up right now. But still, you should still be spinning. You know what's crazy? I should have did this shit this morning when I was doing my motherfucking joint. Cause now I done fucked my hair up for y'all niggas. Now let me stop fucking with y'all. Right, anyway, so basically, you want a wretched do rag. Y'all know me, I live and die by wetting your do rag. So my hair is mad soft right now. My shit feel like Paul no homo. Feel like a, a strip of ass. Like my shit soft, nigga. Like you feel me? Like a, a bitch would run her her hand through my shit. She might get jealous. I'm talking about bitches like I don't got a girl. I'ma edit this shit out. Alright. So now you got your shit damp or whatever. You feel me? Tie it down. I know some of y'all niggas like, yo, that's overkill. Cause you just wet, you just wet the rag, put it over your head, and then you wetting your do rag. Trust me, my nigga. Trust me. If you trying to just let your shit breathe, is the best way to do it. So you tie this shit down for probably a good hour, two hours. Matter of fact, tie down until like the do rag drop. So I'm going to come back after the do-rag dry. I'm about to go play some 2K. And then I'm going to finish the tutorial. Okay. Yo, y'all niggas almost didn't get a video just now. I did. I just got smacked in 2K by like 25 or something. But anyway. I'm gonna take the do-rag off. So when you're going to come out like that, you want to comb it again? Yeah. And now you're just going to use your brush. I don't know how they looking. I can't really see them on camera, but... Sometimes you might want to get this joint right here. Hold on, I gotta move the camera a little closer. You might want to get this joint right here. See how it looks. But basically, this is how my hair look with no product in it. I don't know if anybody want to try this, but it's good to just let your waves breathe, man. So probably later on tonight, I'm going to put some olive oil in there, moisten it up or whatever. And I'm be good. So if you like this shit, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know, every time y'all comment, I try to respond to everybody's comments. If I ain't get to you yet, trust me, I'm getting to you. Kind of close to the camera, but you did. Shorty, hit me up like I'm trying to smoke. Had to cop a quarter from my nigga Troll. Girl, let's go down in the stuff, bro. Let's go. Tell your nigga now, you ain't coming home. Let's go inside my pocket.